Christmas for everyone. Time for the old to learn from the young. Time for the weak to carry the strong. It's Christmas for everyone. Yay, we're back again and we're excited because it is the end of the year. And as usual, there are loads of events marking this season. We will start from the Ofala Festival in Enugu State. Then we'll come back to Abuja for some awards because this is award season. From the African Leading Women's Awards to Igbewe TV's Leadership Excellence Award to the Global Humanitarian Award to the Pan-African Young Women Award. Phew! It's a popular of events as always on Rachel the Piper. Don't let me do this alone. Come along dear one. Rachel the Piper Merry Christmas. I'd just like to wish you a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. On behalf of NAPTIP, the officers and men in NAPTIP would like to wish Nigerians a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Um, I want to say Happy Christmas and um, Happy New Year. We're here to wish you a Merry Christmas and a most prosperous New Year. I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. I am Namure Aidemioya, General Manager, AIT, Network Corporations. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I am Charlie Boy, the area father. Go to the Bariba One of Africa, and I'm here to wish all a Happy Christmas. Event. Coming on the program, we'll head on to Enugu State to the Wazobia Kingdom, Ezeokwe Kingdom in Ibagwanike for the historical Ofala Festival. His Royal Highness Igwe Emmanuel Ugu is renowned for giving chieftains to people from all around the world who are contributing to peace and development. I am a chief there, yes, Ugo Dinamba, meaning beautiful eagle from another land for using my platforms to promote peace and national development. In the recently concluded Ofala festival, the traditional queen of Liberia, Ambassador Julie Endi, was inducted and she attended with up to 31 Liberian supporters. Wow, it was indeed a colorful Ofala. <laughs> Good evening, we are in Ibo land, we are in Ezeokwe Kingdom in Ibagwanike, Enugu State, where I am a chief, I am Ugo Dinamba, that is a beautiful eagle from another land. Yes, we are here for the Ombala Festival 2019, tonight is the first night marking the event, we have three days of festivity here in Ezeokwe Kingdom, long live His Royal Majesty. Igwe Emmanuel Ugu Emmanuel for putting this grand event together. I feel fantastic. We'll have a good time tonight. Performances, food, celebration, festivity. <laughs> It's a fantastic night today on the Ofala. We have our Chinese friend here with us. Good evening. What's your name? What are you doing here this night? I'm enjoying the Ofala. Are you a chief here? Yes, I'm the chief. What's your title? I'm a member. Oh, that's nice. So what can you say about this festival? Yeah, the festival is very interesting and very marvelous. Because uh, Dr. Imam Uku is my friend, and they were known as a long time. So this afternoon, 
I left uh, Imo State to come here and the past of the program is very impressive and very marvelous. It's notable and I appreciate it. If you are a Christian, you humanize a Muslim. You are not a Christian. And I want to tell you, in God's knowledge, God created mankind and in oneness. Christ came into the world for universal oneness. All the prophets that came to prophesy about God is all about universal oneness. What are we sharing this night? Universal oneness. Good evening, sir. Good evening. afternoon. Good afternoon. You look good. Thank you very much. What's your ensemble called? Um, this is uh, a royal dress from the northern part of Nigeria. Uh, my title in Kaduna is Serkiyaki Mohuta from the Zazo Emirate Council. I'm a district head. But I am equally uh, Ebubedike. I'm equally holding the title of Ebubedike one of Ibawaniki, oh, where you are also a queen. Yes. So what can you say about the Ofala Festival? Well, the Ofala Festival is uh, a festival of love, you know, for people to come together to celebrate the kingdom. This has been, I have always attended the Ofala Festival for the past 11 years. I was the first uh, northern, or in fact, I was the first chief to be installed by His Royal Highness Dr. Emmanuel Ugu when he became uh, the king. Okay, we're here with Chief Ambassador Princess Julie Andy from Liberia. Good, good afternoon, ma. Yeah, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Is this your first time in Nigeria? No, I've been in Nigeria lots and lots of time. Matter of fact, I've been in Inugu. I came here with Flavor Namania for a program, and so this is actually my second time coming to Inugu. Lovely, and what can you say about this festival? Well, words are inadequate, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm thankful to God. I came along with my head chief, he's the chairman of the National Council of Chiefs and Elders from Liberia, he's the father for all of us, uh, he's the father of, our, of, of all the people that came on the delegation and he just came to give me his blessings while I received uh, the honor that is going to be given to me today. So I came along with my family so I'm very grateful to be here and I'm happy to be able to see you. You know Richard, I've, I've seen you, I know your work and so I'm very grateful. Uh, I think it's destined by God that we get to where we are and we are here to share the culture and exchange what we have in terms of culture. Then what can you say about the King, His Royal Highness Emmanuel? Um, I mean, Dr. Emmanuel Good is a fantastic Igwe. I mean, just recognizing my work and inviting me is, 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 is a blessing. I wish him luck, I wish him success, I wish him greatness in what he's doing, and I'm very impressed the way the, the, the festival is going to start with the pin in the palace and all of that. So I'm, I'm very, very happy. Good afternoon. Yeah. And what can you say about Nigeria? Nigeria, uh, You say I, I enter Nigeria and I'm happy. Lovely. And what can you say about this event today? You say I, I'm very much happy and I'm glad to be with my daughter who is uh, the glory of our culture in Liberia. I've escorted her here. So I'm very much happy and excited. Lovely. 
Kwe Kingdom in Ibaguanike for the Ofala Festival. We have Her Royal Majesty sitting here. Good afternoon, madam. Good afternoon. What's your name? My name is uh, Ugeze, meaning Her Royal Majesty, Dr. Ijoma Emetuma. Where are you from? I am from Omofo Kingdom in Uguta, local government of Imo State. So what can you say about the Ofala Festival? It's going on well. I came here yesterday. We had a, 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 a gala night last night. And it was fantastic. And then today we are here for the Afala, for uh, accompanying Nigwe to thank God for the good things that have happened in his life over time. Um, what can you say about our culture and tradition in Nigeria? Beautiful. I hope it will continue like this. Though some of us are trying to put the culture behind, but I am in support of making the culture to keep moving. Because culture shows the status of individuals and even communities. So we don't need to allow it to extinguish. So I'm in support of it, especially this Ofala. Though Ofala is an expensive bound something, it's something that has to do with money. But I enjoy and uh, plead that any Igwe that is well to do should be doing this Ofala so as to showcase the rich tradition of the community and Nigeria at large. Yes. Mm, Ofala is most the highest celebration an Igwe can celebrate. Uh, he, he can do it as many times as he has, he can do. In two years, in three years, in five years, according to your wealth, Mm -hmm. Because it is not a just an ordinary occasion. It is a question that you spend very, very well. I never had a Reach over pipe. Still in Abuja, let's head on to the Global Humanitarian Awards, where I was awarded Best TV Presenter of the Year. Wow! Hello everybody, my name is Queen Odina Chichijokwe and I'm the face of Kandi City 2019. It's a pleasure being here and actually receiving this award on behalf of my platform and myself. And this is a great opportunity for me to go out there and spread my tentacles. Thank you so much Miss Global Miss Globe Awards for this amazing award. Elizabeth Yapchit, the most beautiful model in Africa 2019. I love you all. Thank you. Oh well, I came to support what they're doing today as a guest speaker. I'll be also giving a talk on domestic violence and child abuse. Uh, 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 
we are actually partnering uh, with uh, the Miss um, Globe Queen pageant here on 2019 addiction because uh, their co-responsibility actually related with what we do in the society. One of the judges, what are you actually expecting from the contestants? Okay, so uh, sometime October 12th, I was crowned the next Miss Eloquent. So, what actually gave me the the poise to become the Miss Eloquent was because of the way I carried myself. So, what I need is someone who's determined, who knows what she wants and what she has to bring to the table. And I'm sure. Uh, We want to congratulate the winner of this pageantry tonight and Rachel the Piper. Now let's attend Ibebe TV's Leadership Excellence Award. Lovely night, we're here at the Sheraton and it's the Leadership Excellence Awards 2019. I feel fantastic in my um, Just One Kucho Ensemble. I feel beautiful. I was Moa by Sugar Glam. I feel gorgeous and we're going to be talking to people here on the red carpet and we take it inside. We're celebrating leaders right here tonight. So what are you doing here tonight? Just to experience um, what leadership of Nigeria is all about and um, I'm very much focused to witness it and be part of it. So what can you say about Nigeria's leadership today? Uh, quite um, impressive. Impressive and uh, it could be better but so far so good. Lovely, sir. Yeah, I come to observe and appreciate the that uh, leadership award program. Yeah. yeah. So what can you say about leadership in Nigeria? Is it doing well? Well, leadership is a scale. It is inborn. Some people claim they are leaders, but we believe on the practical leadership, leadership by example. So uh, tonight I come for the award for Afatex properties. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. Are you receiving? I'm receiving. Oh, congratulations, sir. Thank you, dear. Congrats. Thank you. 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 Congrats. Madam. Good evening. How are you doing? Thank you. Are you an awardee tonight? No, I'm not. Okay, you're here to support the to so, Yes, to support Dr. Amadukwe. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so what can you say about this event, ma'am? This is my first time of attending. And uh, this is just the starting. I don't know how it's going to look like because I've, not, I've never attended one before. Uh? Are you a recipient tonight? Yes. Congratulations, Thank sir. You. Thank so you. what can you say about this event? The event is, is very well attended. As you can see, I'm surrounded by my friends and family. And I'm very happy to be here. And I'm excited about it. So what can you say stands you out as a leader? Well, then, that from what they're telling me, is just from some of my work in the uh, town where I come from and the work I do in U.S., as an employer to, uh, to many youths and uh, these structures are put in place in my hometown. So uh, those plus what I do in America, uh, made, I was told is one of the reasons they chose me among other people to be the man of the year. And I've been asked to receive an award as the media person of the year. Um, we needed to create a voice for our community. 
a voice that will bring to fore some of the challenges of our community and also that will promote the values that will promote our cultural heritage. Um, I obviously dedicate this award to my newborn baby. Oh. Ah, I feel so excited. I'm so okay, happy that okay. at least the hard work I put into acting has been recognized and I'm just really grateful and honored for this. Lovely. And what can you say about this event tonight? Well, I'm one of the awardees, so I'm going to... Uh, I am, I'm honored and I, uh, we have come to uh, grace the occasion. Uh, you know, it's leadership award. Yeah. yeah. So everybody has to be here. Everybody is concerned about uh, concerned about leadership in Nigeria. That's one. And I was invited by the um, organizers, uh, maybe to help present some awards this oh, evening. That's nice. I used to call her Richie. Mm. Richie, on behalf of the organizers of Pan African Young Women Development Initiative, <coughs> I, Chidi Ezio Kafo, present this award to you for your inestimable contributions. It was them as the Outstanding Young Women Award. And I'm saying congratulations to you. Why are we? And what we see in you today started from the world. I remember when my mom was very happy to talk with my father. The best she could do was to call me as her elder daughter to kneel down at that tender age and beg me to support her. Rachel's a pipe. I feel beautiful tonight. It feels good being a woman. It feels fantastic being a woman. I feel beautiful because it's the African Leading Women Conference and Awards 2019 and women of different sectors will be awarded tonight. I am a recipient. I feel fantastic. I feel fabulous. I feel blessed. It's good to be a woman, a woman adding value to life and society. Long live the woman. Here's to woman power. Well, I'm deeply into humanitarian and I believe that uh, being encouraged to do more is one thing and um, of course a lot of my works are out there touching lives, impacting people. It's not just people who are lousy about taking pictures here and there and all that. I'm elated and privileged to stand here to give this brief but punchy speech about succeeding as a single mother. First, first, rise above stigmatization. There's a stigma on single moms. They are seen as bitter, lonely, popularly associated with shame because of cultural norm. This has always been a very prestigious award for women and uh, there are a lot of women in Nigeria who need to be appreciated for their great work in the society. And well, my expectation is to see how beautiful it turns out as it always has always been. What can you say about the 21st century woman in Nigeria? I think the 21st century woman is to be celebrated. We have, um, we have advanced in orientation and in practice, but there's a lot of work to be done. And that's why I keep advocating for financial inclusion, wellness, nutrition, and lifestyle. So what can you say about this event? 
Um, basically, I won't lie to you, I came in late, but I, I like to see the people I saw there. Yeah. So we met with power, we met, we met with class, so thumbs up to them, everybody. Honestly, yeah. how do you gather all the courage to be who you are? Um, the truth is, when you have so much people wanting to see you fail, all you have to do is try to see yourself never fail. So that's one thing that actually keeps me on top. You know, it's not easy for women to break through, so when we do, we make sure we invest all our power in it. So what's your word of advice to women watching? Women should be, should be bold, they should be, um, should be confident, um, they can be whoever they want to be, they should not allow any group of men or a man to limit them in any ways. Yes, wishing us all a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year. I am Rachel Bakam, aka Rachel the Piper. I love you. Have fun this period. Bye.